Hey, welcome to Dee and Dory. Welcome. Welcome back to our channel. Hopefully you had a great week. Um, we're all about thrift, thrifting and sewing and just having fun with sewing. Yeah, and I think this is the new year. Oh, look at that. 2023 already. Can you believe 2022 it? 2022 went so fast. Yeah. Boom. It's a good, well, kind of a good thing. For, well. <laughs> is it? What makes it good? I don't know. There was a lot going on. <laughs> there was a lot going on. Okay. That's true. Yeah. So today we are going to show our woolish. <laughs> yeah. Meaning that it didn't have to be real wool, but wool is something in that texture, that family. Yeah. Not, not family wool. You know, an acrylic I think mine's that, wool. Is mine wool or acrylic? I don't know. I think it's wool. I know mine's acrylic. Well, the question is, how did you wash it? Wash it? <laughs> Stop it. How did I, you launder? I laundered it in cold water and low dry. That's how I wash everything. Unless it says dry clean only in. I don't know if real wool would let you do that. It might. I don't know that much. I don't do have you that guys many, know? You can I tell us. I don't have that many wool things that, I mean, that are real wool. Yeah. Uh, mine's acrylic. I know that. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, this well, is acrylic. That, that looks woolish to me. Yeah. Woolish? Oh, that's why we said woolish and not just wool. That's exactly right. So okay. it didn't have to be like real wool. Right. Because, uh, yeah. All right. So um, I have a saying picked out. Okay, go ahead. What's your, what do you have? So I got this from my, I love this magazine. It's called Victoria. And this is in the new one, the January, February, 2023. And this is a quote from William Hamilton Gibson, who, by the way, was born in 1850 and died in 1896. So he was young. You know what? That's only 46 years. Oh, good. Right? I was going to ask you, how old did that make him? Because I don't calculate my brain that quick. Oh. <laughs> well, he was 46 when he died. <laughs> uh, he was an American illustrator, author, and naturalist. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, and this is the saying. Silently, like thoughts that come and go, the snowflakes fall, each one a gem. Oh, that's a sweet little saying. That's yeah. a nice saying. Isn't that, and you know, it is true that snowflakes, isn't, isn't it true that no two snowflakes are the same? That's what they say. Now, I don't know how they oh. could say that because they can't have physically examined every <laughs> That's true. And know. there's no place to keep them. <laughs> so. <laughs> How did they know that? Yeah. 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 But. Um, they did a sampling and then just considered that that was it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we, we, um, we are taping this a little bit ahead of schedule because we are supposed to get blizzard conditions. Yeah. This weekend. Yeah. So. So um, how appropriate. Apropro. Yeah. Yeah. Apropro. At, Oh, cool. Look at you and your language skills. Woo. Snowflakes fall. Each one a gem. But you know what? Each one of you are a gem, too. Just want you to know. That's true. And you're like a snowflake to us. Yeah. Not but, that you're cold. <laughs> I was going to say, you know, and no two are alike. Yes. You know, no, there's not one person, even if you're twins, that is alike to another person because... We all have our own experiences. Even if you grew up in the same household, you see things differently because of your age difference and your experiences. Yeah. Sometimes my sister and I do say the same things at the same time. Well, I didn't say that we were, you know. <laughs> <laughs> totally different. Yeah. Okay, so. so wow, that was a heavy sign. It is a heavy sign oh. because my woolish Drove me absolutely insane. Yes, she did. She had a little challenge with it. It was McCall's 5480, and I made the little swing jacket. And cute, cute jacket. Yeah. I looked it up on Pattern Review, and there was two reviews, and they both gave it five stars, and both said anybody could make this, even a beginner. I would give it two stars and say, unless you're a professional. <laughs> Why and why was that? What I was just, the problem? I just couldn't understand some of the instructions. Oh, really? Is, yeah. it, is it an easy? It's a, it's a McCall. No, it's a McCall So News. Yeah. Oh, creating for you in your home. So News. I don't know if I'm even aware of what that is. Yeah. Well, let me tell you. <laughs> um, one thing that in, in the... Um, <laughs> Instruction? The pattern okay. piece number seven 
says on the pattern piece, cut four fabric and two of interfacing. But when you go to the layout and look at the layout, you know how they have the layouts at the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. on the, yeah, the instructions on the how to lay it on the fabric. On number seven, it says cut four fabric and cut four of the lining. <laughs> Not the interfacing. Oops, that guy buys so much. But then when you go to the direction, <laughs> oh, it says sewing the interfacing, not the lining. It was so confusing. I do not like this pattern and I will never make it again. I almost gifted this to my sister, which she might in the end get it. That's cute. Um, but once I saw it on her, I kind of liked it better. <laughs> How's that work? I don't know, when I was making it, I was, just, in fact, uh, I know not everybody has this ability to have a husband who sews better than them. Yeah, I mean, hers does. It's <laughs> great. And I was like, I am at, I am at a standstill. I cannot figure this out. I do not like this pattern. And I'm Aww. like, I'm going to throw it out. And he's like, don't throw it out. Let me look. And he's reading it. And he's like, oh, this is what you do. So we, we managed it. But mm, no, not for beginners. It's lined. And the lining, sometimes they had some weird instructions about the lining. The lining is sewed into the seam of the arm. Yeah, I know. That's what it said. You showed me that, which was instead of making the arm separate, yeah. they had you sew it into the arm. Into the arm of the, the garment. Yeah. Oh, and that was, that was a problem. And hemming it was ridiculous. I actually hand sewed the hem three times. Mm. Yes. But so, what an accomplishment. You finished it, and that looks great. What a gem. It's one of a kind. <laughs> <laughs> you goofy. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, those were my frustrations with it, you know. And it could be the fabric that I used. I it's know. a nice fabric. It says wool blends, no, lightweight it should, wool. It should have been fine for this fabric. Yeah. It is a nice fabric. It's got a nice feel to it. And I liked it on the, I didn't realize this on the little, on your sleeves, on the little cuffs, the cuffs here. There's a little. Well, that's not supposed to be there. <laughs> Don't show them. I'm always showing them. Yeah. It's supposed to be flat, like this. But on this sleeve, I've got a little bit of a. Oh, you can't see it. No, a little oh, that's bit of okay. a. It's okay. A so little, it looks a little like bit it's error. Yeah, <laughs> a little mistake on one sleeve, but not on the other cuff. Actually, good cuff. thing it kind of blends in. <sighs> Whatever. Anyway, would you like to see the reveal? <laughs> I would, yes. Let's All right, see it. let's watch the reveal. Might be a little better. Mm hmm. think it looks as bad as you think it does. The little back is cute. It is very cute. I, I, I like, that, like that. I really like pleat. that pleat in there. You did a nice job And that was that. easy to make. Usually pleats are like a problem for me, mm -hmm. but that one was easy to make. I have to say the pleat was easy. I don't know why they had me on the, on the lining. They had me based part of the way up for the pleat mm -hmm. and they never told me to take it out. They never told me to do anything with it. So it's still basted back there. <laughs> Am I supposed to open it? I don't know. Yeah. So the lining's not opened with the pleat because they never told me to do it. <laughs> yeah, those instructions are not complete, are they? No. There's something wrong with this pattern. Yeah, they just, somebody rushed through that or thinking that you already know what you're doing. That's what I was thinking about those reviews that I read at Pattern Review. I'm thinking those I mean, one girl just went on about how great and easy it was. And I'm thinking she is probably an expert sewer. But then it made me kind of feel like, I mean, I'm not a beginner. Right. No, you're not. But but they said everybody that's a beginner should be able to do this. <laughs> and I felt like, like mm. my, my confidence went. <laughs> it was going down the tubes. Yeah. So anyway, 
Um, I will never make it again. It's a very versatile item, though. It looks very versatile. Yeah, and I did make this in a size 14. That's the and way. how did you feel find the sizing to be with it? It's great. Oh, okay. I mean, okay. it's a size 14, and that the finished measurement for the bust is, it fits me. So. Oh, good. Um, normally, I would make a little bit larger than a 14, but since oh. the finished measurement for the bust was that, I didn't put the buttons on. I didn't want to put the buttons on. I might put a decorative one just to have a decorative Oh, that would be cute. Just a decorative. Because I saw somebody the other day, and they had a little jacket like this on. They just had a little button there. I'm like, where's the buttonhole? There was no buttonhole on the other side. Yeah. So it was just a decorative That'd button. Cute. That'd so, be a cute idea. I might do that. Yeah. Add a button. Yeah. <laughs> Add a button. Button, button. Who's got the button? <laughs> okay, so what did you make? How was your woolish? Well, make? Um, I made Simplicity 9640. That's what I made. And I actually made um, A is the style that I made because um, the all of these other styles are actually two pieces sewn together. Oh. They have a different skirt really? to it than, than view A. And I have that pattern. I never noticed that. I did not make the sleeves, though, on this. I didn't want the poofy sleeves. Right. I wanted the straight, the straight sleeves on it. Okay. Okay. So um, it has a, a zipper down the back of it. The line drawings here on the back. Let me show you the line drawings. The line drawings on the back so you can see the two different styles. Um, it has a zipper down the back. It's dolman sleeves. It's truly is a dolman sleeve. You oh, can yeah. see that. And the sleeves are two pieces. You have the, the front part of the sleeve, and then you have the back part of the sleeve. And then um, after you sew the front and the back onto the front and the back of the dress, then you sew the sleeve down the center. Oh, okay. You know, because it's in two pieces, you got to make it yeah. a third piece. They um, did not uh, have you top stitch on this particular view, uh, but I decided that with this fabric, it needed to have some top stitching on, on this seam here, where the sleeves attach to the body mm -hmm. of the, the dress, and also the center seam all the way down the front. That looks nice. I, I, do, I do wish that they didn't have the center seam, though. I just kind of wish they didn't like, have it. Why do they have it? I don't know. It's just a styling. Just a styling. Yeah. It, it serves no real purpose. Right. It doesn't serve a purpose. So, um, as you can see, it's a black and white hound's tooth. It's very warm, which is what I wanted. Mm -hmm. Um one thing to be aware of is that you see that you got a cute nice thin model here it does go in the dress they don't yeah you can see see how it goes in take note it really does go in the pattern piece comes in and then comes Ooh, down gives you that curvy. it does but if you're thicker in the middle you want to make sure that it would fit you because it does come in quite narrow I made this in a 14, um, and it said I should have had, according to my measurements, a little more ease than what I really do. Sorry, I didn't <laughs> know I was covering your face. I That's didn't okay. <laughs> now, let me know next time. I'm just time. listening. <laughs> oh, okay. So, um, it, it was not particularly hard to make. It said it was average, um, is what it says on here, for the skill level. Right, right. It said it was average. Pretty much straight seams. Uh, the zipper down the back it called for an invisible zipper. I did not do that because I didn't have an invisible zipper. I just had a regular zipper, and and you can see I think I did a decent job putting yes, it in. Yes, you did. So, oh yeah, yeah, great. So and it, and this was twenty four inch, and so I just sewed it down to twenty two inches, and yeah. then you know went across. That's and, nice about the longer ones. Yeah, you can, just you can do that. Make it however make size. It, yeah. yeah, what you want. Uh, let's see, what else did I want to tell you? There's no pockets in it. Oh, the most difficult part I found was putting the facing in the neckline. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, the neckline, actually, you, you have to have the zipper. Because, you know, the neck opening is like this. Okay. On it. So now, you have to have it. Can you take it out? Yeah, yeah, no. You, okay. Yeah, you have to have that. But then you do the inner, the facing to sew down. And when you're done, you have this little, you have this, you know, how it goes. It goes like that, then the facing do. And I put it on here. When I first put it on here, I went, when I went to put it on, to, to pin it on there, before I sewed it, I went, this is not going to work. This is not going to fit. But, you know, you just have to work it around. Yeah. And 
and yeah, it was. and and I had it pinned like every half an inch, sometimes quarter of an inch, to get all that ease in there. And I didn't get any puckers in it, and it lays nice. Um, and um, well, I did learn I, from watching somebody else, and I have found this very very helpful is that when you go to, to sew on like an interfacing like that and you have all of those little, it's not puckers, but you know, it smooths itself out. To sew on the part you're easing in. So the roughly, the, the puckered part that you don't want any pinches in or anything, you want that to be facing up as you're sewing. You don't want that to be on the bottom of the feed foots because you can't monitor and see how the fabric's laying. So the, the one that's a little bigger goes on top Mm -hmm. And then, okay. Yeah. The smaller piece goes on. I've often wondered that. And I do. That it's better. It works really well. I've done that technique several times now. And it does save me See? a lot of trouble. Now, if you would have shared that with me earlier, I may not have had the little pucker I have in this one cuff. Yeah, because I, and I thought I was watching some problem. other, some <laughs> other lady months ago i don't remember who no oh, can't put a link in sorry no sorry i just <laughs> don't remember who and um she had said that the way you do this is you always do the larger part where you're trying to ease that into the smaller area always is up so you can see it and see what's going on but then you know as in the case even if it's turned the other way around you have to be really careful not to catch the, the other fabric, you know, don't let it roll and keep it straight. And so there's a lot of you go really slow. At least that's what I did. Go really slow, you know, check to make sure the fabric's smooth and check to make sure. No speedy. No, no speedy you can't zip through that. Put because... on the fastest one and let it rip. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> but anyway, I like the way the dress turned out. I like the cute. dome and it sleeves. It looks very elegant to me. Oh, thank you. I was hoping that would be the case. And your hair, your hair looks nice today too, by the way. Thank you, yeah. thank you much. And this is in like case anybody little, knows that you, little streak there. That's all natural. Woo, woo, woo. I know. Thank it's you. A little fashion. I know. I like that. It's yeah. like, oh, thank you. I was blessed for that. Yeah. Wow, that's nice. So, yeah. People yeah. pay money to do that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wow. Thank you. So anyway, it, it this I think anybody could do it. Uh, you just have to be really Beware. careful. Beware. Yeah, but it's all straight stitching. And why do you think it's average instead of easy? Because it doesn't look like a difficult pattern at all. I'm thinking maybe because of the zipper and maybe because of the sleeves. Because you do sew, you know, you have your front part and you sew the sleeve on. And then... Um, yeah, you have like a front sleeve and back sleeve. It kind of goes mm -hmm. on yeah, a little different. Oh, like the way they tell you to do it is different. Well, let me let me show you here real quick. It's 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 really not that difficult, but um, they have you so so it see it sews like that. See how that comes yeah. down, and it stops right there. You have to be sure be sure and do your little markings, markings, your circle markings. Um, you have to have those. And you're going to use the same circle markings that you sew this down to when you put your front and back together because then you sew your, sew your underarm, you come to that circle, and you lift your pressure foot and make like a sharp turn to come down. Okay. You so, know, ha having you mention that, my husband said my markings, some of my markings had disappeared when away. I was making this. Went, poof. Well, because I was using a friction pin. Did but you iron them out? I didn't. But but they disappeared. Oh, and I used a tailor's chalk, and it disappeared too. This fabric eats, <laughs> eats, your eats markings. markings up. And he said that part of my problem was my markings were not there. Of course, you can always put the pattern piece next to it and remark it. But. And I, I do that a lot, because mm -hmm. sometimes I don't always put my markings in, depending on what they're for. But this piece I did, it does. I don't always put those markings in. I always clip my notches but I don't always put the markings in unless they're for a particular, like where my pockets start and stop, or in this case, in the sleeve where that was to stop yeah. on this part. And um, and then I always, as I've said before, I always leave those pattern pieces. I never put them away until I'm done because right, I too. refer to those all the time. And sometimes I'll be like, I don't understand this. Let me see what this looks like. You know, then I put the pattern piece back on my fabric. 
And, and even looking at the, the, I even keep this out now. I even, I have a little uh, cork board. I just put this right there because uh -huh. helping me visualize seeing how it's supposed to look when it's done mm -hmm. helps me. Yeah. See now that helps you. I do better with the line drawings on the back. Oh, for me. That's just the way my brain works. That helps, that takes all that confusion from my mind. Cause I get lost in all of like, oh, look at the patterns. I don't quite, <laughs> look at the See, fabric patterns. Now that's an example of two people being born in the same family. And our, our, just, our brains work a little different with that kind that's of thing. That's true. And in case anybody's curious, I used black thread when I sewed this together. And where did you get the fabric? Oh, oh, this is one of those fabrics I ended up with. I think 10 yards of this. Wow, to make okay. something else, yeah. It was on a bolt. And I don't know where, I've had it as long as I, I moved several times probably with this fabric. Never used it because, I, I really like that we sew <coughs> like we're doing because it, it makes me utilize right. these fabrics. Too. Because otherwise I'm like, oh yeah, it'll be nice to do that. But <coughs> for me. some reason, I'm, I'm, well, I am task oriented, but I need to, to be motivated to be yeah. task oriented. And sometimes it's not like, oh, I just want to make that. Oh, it would be nice. I, I need that motivation. Yeah. I need a reason. And I'm like, the, I'm a, I was the kid that was like, <coughs> oh, I have a test that's due Friday. Oh, it's now Thursday. I better get going on it. <laughs> You were that kid or you were not that kid? I was that kid oh, for the most okay. part. Yeah. Yeah. I, I tend to be, I, I tend to have a reason. I'm shaking the table again with my foot. <laughs> See, she's like, don't touch anything. <laughs> don't do it. Don't do it. I warned her beforehand. She <laughs> says, don't shake that table. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah. Um, uh, I so what. my fabric, I never said where I got mine. Oh, yeah. So anyway, mine was out of my stash. I've had it for a long, long time. Laundered up beautifully. The only thing is when you keep something that long, the center line was brown Oh, and I, it did not launder out. So well, good thing it wasn't on the fold then. Yeah, I know. Good thing it wasn't <laughs> on the fold. So, but anyway. The perfect pattern for that one. <laughs> I have enough that I can make something else out of this. Mm -hmm. So anyway. Nice. Now, where'd you get your fabric from? <laughs> it was in a box that we had bought at Goodwill. Oh, it's, was this in that box? Yeah, this was a Goodwill box. How did you end up with the plain wool, woolish one? Usually that's kind of my stuff. You usually do don't you? want it. Hmm. I don't know. It is kind of plain, but that way I can wear it with lots of things. Lots of things. Like the jumper that you have on. Yeah. Yeah. Which I made. I'll put down uh, what pattern I use for it. It's a cute jumper. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So my fine. Oh, you want to see my reveal? Oh, that would be a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> Let's watch it. <laughs> Nice. See? No, thank you. It's thank very you. slimming. Thank you. And it's also, so I can't gain a pound. Yeah, you just need to make sure the measurements, because it is very slim fitting. It's not. Uh, does it say close fitting on the, on the. No. Sometimes it says. No, it doesn't say that. It does say once you get, oh, that was my mistake. Finished garment measurement and wearing ease. Oh, that's what I should have gone up with. <gasps> Um, I went according to that for the finished measurement as being my actual measurement. Oh, oh, that's why it's just a little stuck oh. in the buns. <laughs> but uh, maybe I'll just lose a few pounds. <laughs> we'll see. I you doubt that. We're you don't need to one. lose any more weight. You're fine. Oh, well, anyway. So just be aware of that. Make sure you measure correctly because there's not a lot of extra 
a lot of extra fabric there. This is not one of those, you know, yeah, pre-fitting outfits, but I love it. I think you'll like it too, if you like that. I, I like that a lot, and I have that pattern, so someday I'll make it. Oh, cool, cool, cool. Hey, so didn't you say you were going to show us your vintage woolish? I did. Yes, I did. And um, I remembered to bring it today. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> now, I really don't know when it was that I made this. I don't know if it was before I was married. I'm thinking because what? I think mom kind of helped me with it. Oh, I'm thinking. Okay. She's okay. Thinking. That's a good thing. I don't know. But Something it, new. It was a long time ago. Anyway, it was over. I'm glad you didn't catch that. What'd you say? <laughs> I didn't hear you. What'd you say? I, said, <laughs> I was bad. I said, okay. she's thinking it's something new. <laughs> It really is not nice. I know. I See said it was bad. Is. Yeah. Well, at least you recognize it. Well, you know, if you start off the new year with a few bad things, you get stuff to work on for the next year to yeah. become better. <laughs> so you're going to be nicer to me now. I am. I'm, that's my goal. I'm okay. We're nicer. talking about my vintage. Oh, yes. Sorry. Okay. So, <laughs> so I don't know. So this is probably a good 45, 50 years old. It's oh, clean. how can it be? You're so young. <laughs> yes. I'm did so I young. redeem myself? <laughs> yes, you did. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so I'm gonna I'm gonna show you the skirt first. This this is the skirt that I made, this and this is, is an acrylic, and this is the back. And look at there's two darts there. Yeah, and wow. it has a waistband. Yeah, and I thought there was a button. Oh, there, there it is. is. <laughs> like, where'd the button go? And button, then if button, you turn it so around, um, it's got look pleats. at those pleats. How, look had, at how nice that is. So this is the front of it. Okay, and it has a. See if I can do this. It has a button closure for the waistband. Okay. And it doesn't feel like oh, I use into the pocket. The but oh and yeah yeah yeah. So you have the button. There's a button waistband, and then look at there's a pocket right, right here. That, Isn't that's that with cute? the waistband. So this opens and you up. And the pocket. Yeah, but you know I don't think we used any interfacing then. I think so. You know right. I don't think there's any interfacing in this. So I, this was the pocket that I used and I nice. used navy blue cause there's navy blue in here and this, it's interesting to see the style. I um, like the style. I do too. And I have not seen a skirt pattern like this. Now as to the, what the pattern is, I have no idea. I'm sure I don't have it. Yeah. Cute. And then the hem. Oh, I she used, did use the hem tape. I used hemming tape on it. Now it's all hand sewn. Yeah, it is. It all, it's all hand sewn. So <laughs> I had to make sure. <laughs> so it is all hand sewn. Oh, nice. Because back then, this was prior. You never, you never did machine stitching on hems. No, you never. Never, never ever. You it just wasn't it. done. Yeah. Yeah. So this was the skirt. Okay. Cute. So um, I have, and oh, and look at here. There was a pocket on this side too. But oh, this yeah. doesn't have the opening. It just has the pocket like this. Yeah. No button on that one. No button on that one. You know, and it's sewing down in here. And if you look, this is hand sewing. Yeah. The waistband's all. Oh, look, you got hair everywhere. I got hair everywhere, yeah. So that's the the inside of it. And I didn't even, yeah, I, I didn't have a serger machine. No. No, I haven't, no. Didn't no. Have I didn't have a serger until after I was married in quite a while. <laughs> even though she's still just a young one. Yes. I'm not that old. Oh, yeah, I don't remember, you know. Dot dash, dot, 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 dash. <laughs> I don't remember that. Oh, good. <laughs> and so then this is the top. And this kind of oh, gives you. Yeah. And now, see, it has this seam down here. Oh, I had a yoke in there. And yoke. this is a two piece yoke. Yeah. And this is top stitched through there. Oh, so you there can was see some that. top stitching. The collar, look at this, is a two piece collar. Oh, there's a goodness. band here. And then uh, it comes down. And I even put a button on the. The band here, I didn't put a buttonhole here. Oh, that's interesting. Probably because it was so thick. I would never button it anyway. Right. So, but I had that there. Yeah. And and look at the, yeah, Dory's got the cuff on the sleeves. Yeah. I did the cuff. And there's actually two little. And you did some top stitching on the cuff too. Mm -hmm. Top stitching on the cuff. Got a couple of pleats here. Oh my, this is quite the outfit. And then I had the, I don't know what this is properly called. Here. Yeah, this little the, placket thing. The little placket. There you go. Maybe. Look at that. Yeah. So, and then, you know, of course, this would button close on that. And then the shape of the sleeve is a dolman. 
style. Oh, look at that. And you made a dolman with your woolish this time. Too. Yeah, I did. And then this is top <laughs> stitch there, top stitched across the shoulder seam. Now it's interesting. I even made my own shoulder pads at that time. Wow. And put those in there. I don't know what the inside is. I have no clue, <laughs> but I did that. And then of course, um, oh, I want to show you. Sorry. I'm kind of getting and, doors. And now it's too big for her, I bet. Yeah, I haven't put it on. I haven't tried yeah. it on. But oh, it's um, cute. And I like the, the the bottom of it. Look, 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 look. Uh -oh. She has a little um see oh, that? Let me see. Yeah. Can you yeah. see? It? Isn't that cute? Yeah, that's the Yeah, that's that's stylish. How oh, that the hem hems. Hem. Yeah. It. And then of course, you know, the the band down the front where the buttons and the buttonholes go. And the buttonholes mm -hmm. go. Yeah. Interesting. There is no no there's stabilizer no, behind there's it. There's no stabilizer at all in this, at all. So, if you want to make something and you don't have the stabilizer, you might could get away with it. Well, yeah, it depends. <laughs> yeah, but you can see, you know, by not having the stabilizer in the collar, you can see it doesn't tend to want to stay. You know, it wants to go up. You know what? Another thing we never did back then was understitching. We didn't. We never understitched our never, inner facings. Yeah. So... But anyway, that's my uh, my old old sewing. That's awesome. It's cool that, that you I kept had, it all these years. Uh, yeah, I don't know why I kept it, but I did. Maybe because I worked so hard on it or something. Yeah, I don't know, yeah. but that's it. Nice. And, uh, Very nice. Yeah, so just wanted to share that with you. Well, so thanks for so, sharing your so, old woolish. Yeah, and it doesn't the fabric with what I am impressed with. Uh, I'm sure I wore this multiple times. It looks, it there's looks no, it's not new. pilled yeah. at all. Yeah. It was way before sweater um, yeah. razors or shavers that but they have now, way before that. <laughs> yeah. So, anyways, yes. just wanted to share that with you. I hope yeah. you found it interesting. Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> Very good. Oh, 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 drawing. Yeah, this is for our next, well, yeah, it's not our next make that you'll see, but... The next of mine, somewhere along <laughs> somewhere. the line. Somewhere. Yeah. So and Nate's it, not here to do it, so. Yeah, Nate's not here. He's home with Daddy. Mind. So, yeah, we'll we'll do it for him. So, let's okay, see what we got. We have. Da, 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 da. Make something with pockets. Pockets. Oh, pockets. 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 I like pockets. That's fun. I like pockets. Yeah. So, that will work. I love pockets. Well, you know what? I like pockets too. I, I, I wonder, pockets. are there any, you know what it'd be fun to do is kind of research kind of the types of pockets you can make and put in? <laughs> Sorry. Do we have to make more than one pocket thing? <laughs> no, 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 no. There's five different pockets. I'd like to show you all of them. <laughs> well, you can make one thing and have like lots of pockets. All oh yeah, there you go. It's a pocket coat. <laughs> could come in handy who knows <laughs> oh yeah oh, there are lots of different kinds sometimes they have gathers in them i've done them with gathers yeah sometimes they're lying sometimes they're not sometimes they're inside the like if it's a pant or a skirt yeah sometimes it's in the seam sometimes it's not in the seam and they can I be gathered i make bibs where there's the big pocket there and you put a little i see seat. you know oh, more about say you're there's fun. all kinds of pockets <laughs> and you can gather them or you can have them not gather and you know what they say no. Pick a pretty penny, put it in your pocket, save it for a rainy day. Or like Daddy would say, I, I would you say, if I were rich, my pockets would jingle. <laughs> he, <laughs> said, he, said, he, he used to say, he had all these ditties. Yeah. He used to say, oh, I wish I was single again. Because oh. if I was single, my pockets would jingle. <laughs> I wish I was single again. <laughs> yeah, okay. Not that he really did wish he was single. Yeah. But he liked to sing that song. Yeah. <laughs> And you could see how musically inclined I am. Yeah, we really got the music here going. <laughs> okay, all right. And sorry if you heard my phone ding. I put it on vibrate and... And it dang. <laughs> it dinged. <laughs> it's not dang, it ding. Ding, ding. Anyway, um, oh yeah, our saying. My goodness. <laughs> We're having too much fun, sorry. <laughs> okay. And this is getting long, sorry so, guys. So, so don't forget, silently, like thoughts that come and go, the snowflakes fall, each one a gem. So appreciate the winter if that's what you have right now. If you're in Australia, you know winter will be coming. <laughs> that's right. And <laughs> After remember, the spring and summer. And remember, each one of you are a gem. Each one Just of you like are a gem. 
just like the snowflakes. And each one of you are different. Yeah. Yeah. So thank you so much for watching. We really appreciate it. We love you all. So please um, hit like, subscribe, forward. Leave a comment. Leave a comment. <laughs> I need so. to write that down. <laughs> I covered it for you. Yeah. Okay. All right. We'll see you next time. Happy sewing. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>